How does vinegar dissolve fiberglass? Hello, science enthusiasts. Today we're going to delve into an intriguing question. How does vinegar dissolve fiberglass? Well, the first thing we need to clarify is that vinegar, in reality, does not dissolve fiberglass. Yes, you heard it right. Let's explore why this is the case. What is fiberglass? Fiberglass is a type of fiber reinforced plastic where the reinforcement fiber is specifically glass fiber. These glass fibers may be randomly arranged, flattened into a sheet, called a chopped strand mat, or woven into a fabric. It is a strong, lightweight material and is used for many products. What is vinegar? Vinegar is a liquid consisting mainly of acetic acid and water. It's typically produced from the fermentation of ethanol by acetic acid bacteria. It's a relatively weak acid, often used for cleaning and cooking. The interaction between vinegar and fiberglass. So, what happens when fiberglass meets vinegar? In simple terms, not much. Vinegar does not dissolve fiberglass. Fiberglass is a durable material that resists most common solvents, including vinegar. While vinegar can break down certain kinds of buildup or deposits on fiberglass, it doesn't affect the fiberglass itself. However, prolonged exposure to a stronger acid might harm the resin binding the fiberglass, potentially leading to weakening of the material. But remember, vinegar isn't a strong enough acid to cause such an effect. Misconceptions and Clarifications There's a common misconception that vinegar can dissolve or damage fiberglass, likely stemming from its ability to clean various substances off the material. It's important to note, however, that this cleaning effect is due to vinegar's ability to dissolve mineral deposits, oils, and other surface contaminants, not the fiberglass itself. So there you have it, folks. While vinegar is a versatile and handy household item with many uses, dissolving fiberglass isn't one of them. Fiberglass remains unaffected by vinegar due to its durable, resistant nature. We hope this video has been helpful in clearing up this common misconception. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and stay curious.